Now we have a set of geospatial data. So we have a lot of shape files, three shape files, and we have two geotips. So if you try now to open these files here in whatever image viewer, that will not work very well. And if you need to provide these files to, uh, to a contractor, um, they probably want to have another format such as PDF, JPEG or something like that, that they can just open by double clicking and not needing to install QGIS. So to create something like that, you um, can go here to project and create a new print layout. You can provide it with a unique layout name. We can call it here just uh, exercise layout. And that will look like that. And now we can add here different um, items to the layout. At the moment, it's completely empty. So if you want to add here our map, then just, of course, add map makes sense. Um, and we can just draw our map in here. And that's it. Then in addition to the map, what is always a very good choice is um, to have a legend somewhere. So the legend here will then be um, somehow uh, automatically generated depending on how you define it. So you will find here in the item browser, um, you find here the legend and you can either uh, check here auto update then uses automatically what you have chosen here in the layers panel so you can disable here different layers so maybe we just want to see here um, the different flow areas and the gauge uh, we probably do not want need to have this open street map and google satellite imagery here in the layers map um, but if we go there Uh, we still see that here. So um, it will automatically update as soon as you reopen uh, your layout. Um, but if you want to have a manual control and ensure that only the, uh, the items that you want to have uh, visible here in your legend are visible, um, you can unable here or uncheck that auto update box and um, uh, then just remove here um, items from the uh, layer. So just now I accidentally remove uh, the legend and I need to redraw the legend. So to remove here an item, you just click here on the minus button And now the reason why I didn't uncheck OpenStreetMap and Google Satellite imagery before is because we still want to see it here on our map while we don't need it or we don't want it to have it maybe on the legend. Um, so we just want to remove it here uh, from the legend. Great. So we can also change here uh, the symbol um, that we want to use or um, we can also change uh, the position and the size, uh, the variables that we want to show. And we can also change the fonts. So that might be a little bit too small here for, uh, for the PDF. Um, but with that standard font here and we're here in an A4 format, we are fine. Then let's add other um, important items to a map. So what every map should have. So we have the legend, we want to have a north arrow. So it automatically sets here the arrow to north. And then the next very important item that every map should have is the scale bar, because we want to know how big it is. So just uh, recall, you always want to put a legend, a north arrow and a scale bar. Now you can change that here. You can go here to 
either of these options here to, to the item browser and have um, and, and go here to the item properties to change font sizes, to change also the distance or numbers of bars that you want to have here in your legend scale. Um, there are many options. Just know that you need to save here your exercise layout differently again uh, from the project. So the QGIS project and the uh, exercise layout are two different windows. You can also add here other uh, items like uh, text markers or arrows here if you want just to point out the uh, gauging station uh, or whatever. Well, let's come to the part why we created the layout and that was we want to create an image or a PDF. So we can export it as an image. So we can just uh, save it here as a PNG or as a JPEG. Um, at the beginning, I mentioned JPEG. Let's use a JPEG image. You can uh, define an export resolution. Normally, you're fine with uh, 300 dots per inches. Um, in scientific reports, you want to use at least 600. Uh, if you just want to email something, you're probably fine with 150. Here, let's just save that. And now here in our QGIS exercise folder, we have now the exercise layout.jpg, and that is something that you can easily email to uh, whoever you want. Um, if you decrease the dots per inches number, then you will have also a smaller size of the image. Otherwise, you can also export it here as a PDF. So you can just uh, save it here as exercise layout.pdf. You can have different um, options here. You can also create it as a geospatial PDF, then it's georeference, but you're fine with that here. So QGIS will inform you if everything worked. Another option here is to export as an SVG. So that's a vector graphic. Uh, that is probably something that you do not want to use if you're working with Word or some of these Office uh, programs because they work with a uh, pixel graphics. So don't forget to save your layout. Then you can close your layout and go back to your QJS project. Um, still play a little bit, have a little bit fun, and familiarize with it. That's it for this short introduction to QJS.